Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lorena. I'm a self-concept and manifestation coach, guide, mentor. All of the videos on my channel are here to help you change your self-concept, the way you see yourself, the way you show up in the world, change your state of being, the way you feel about your life, your reality, in order for you to create a new reality, manifest the things you desire, and wake up to a life that you love living every day. So if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. If you end up liking this video, give it a little thumbs up. It does help the algorithm. I hate to say it. So if you want to thank me for putting this content out, that's the best way to do so. And today we're talking about your self-concept. If you don't even know what that means or what that is, I do have a video, many videos actually, on this, but one in particular that explains what your self-concept is and how to change it. It's a great summary, I'm going to link it below. But today's video in particular is inspired by a post I made a while ago, which was all about the fact that changing your self-concept doesn't actually mean changing who you are. And a lot of people didn't understand this. Some people really, really resonated with this deeply, and other people didn't quite understand what I meant by this. So I thought I'd make a little video to clarify and to give you a little boost, because it's not as complicated as you may think. So your self-concept is essentially your ego identity. It's the way you see and perceive yourself and consequently the way you show up in the world. As a consequence of that, it's the basis for what you manifest in your reality. Because how you show up in the world, the assumptions and the beliefs that you hold, particularly about yourself, determine the assumptions that you have about your reality and the people around you. And that in turn determines what you experience in your life and in your reality. So your self-concept is really important. And it's changeable. However you currently feel about yourself, you can change that. You can feel completely differently about yourself. But here's the thing, here's the misconception that I see all around and that even came up when I shared this post. And that's the idea that changing your self-concept means changing who you are. Because it doesn't. It's quite the opposite of that. If you think you need to change who you are in order to manifest something different, you're number one not coming from a place of self-love because you're not satisfied with who you are being. And when you are not satisfied with who you are being, you likely don't feel worthy of what you desire. It's very difficult to feel worthy of what you want if you don't love yourself and you're not happy with who you are. And worthiness, feeling worthy of what you want, is very essential in order to manifest it, in order to call it in. Because if you don't think you deserve it, how do you want to be open to it, right? So that's one thing. But then also, there's just nothing wrong with you. There is nothing to fix about yourself. You're not broken. There's nothing wrong with the way you are. Nothing. Exactly how you are in this moment is perfect. And exactly how you are in this moment, you can manifest whatever reality you want. It's possible for you and you don't need to change who you are in order for it to come to fruition. The only thing that needs changing is your perception of who you think you are. Because whoever you think you are in this moment, it's not who you really are. This applies on a spiritual level, right? Because your ego is essentially a complete illusion, not in a negative way. Nothing against the ego. We don't need to dissolve or transcend it. It's an important tool that we have in this life. But the true core of who you are goes way deeper. Who you really are is consciousness itself. Who you really are goes way deeper than this human body and this human identity. But even despite the spiritual aspect, the identity that you currently have as in the perception that you currently have of who you think you are, 
And who you think you are, by the way, is different from how other people think you are. If you find yourself not attractive, that doesn't mean that other people do. Other people can have a completely different perception of you. For example, I used to feel insecure speaking in front of people. I don't anymore. <laughs> but I used to feel very insecure and I used to feel like I didn't want to do a presentation at work and I would get very nervous. But it didn't come across that way. And so people thought I was confident. But that wasn't my self-concept. So how you perceive yourself can be radically different from how other people perceive you. And the thing is how you currently perceive yourself is not who you really are. That has all been shaped by your past experience, by maybe the ideas that you've gotten from other people, maybe what other people have said to you or how other people have treated you, societal conditions, how people or how society tells you to be, tradition, culture, all of these things have created beliefs in you, often very unconsciously, about how you think you should be and who you think you currently are. And just because you believe it doesn't mean it's true. Let that sink in. Just because you believe it doesn't mean it's true. If you have a self-concept of thinking you are unlovable or that you are a failure, that doesn't mean you are really unlovable and that doesn't mean you are really a failure. That just means that you think you are. So you don't need to change who you are, you just need to change how you feel about yourself. You just need to change how you perceive yourself. So instead of thinking that changing your self-concept is about fixing anything, it's more about removing everything that you're not and coming back to your most authentic essence and learning to love that fully, every part of you. Even the things you think are unlovable because they are not. This is what healing is about. This is what shadow work is about. This is what self-love is about. It's all about peeling off the layers and getting rid of everything that you're not, that you're not anyway, that you've never been, and returning to your most authentic self. And healing is also not about fixing anything. There is nothing to be fixed. It's all perfect already. You just need to see it that way. You just need to learn to love it that way. The magical thing is, the more you return to your most authentic self and the more you embrace exactly who you are, even if society tells you that's wrong, even if you think you should be different, the more you learn to embrace who you are, the easier it will be for you to embody new states of being because you feel worthy of it, because you're not faking it anymore. You're not trying to pretend to be somebody who you're not. You're actually authentically embodying a state of being that is already within you. And that makes this work, that makes this process so much more enjoyable, effortless, and sustainable. I hear this all the time from my clients who are surprised when they go through my coaching program, they thought they were just going to turn into somebody else, but actually they turned into more of who they already were and they fall in love with themselves. And through that self-love and self-acceptance, through that embodiment of their authenticity, through becoming more of themselves and embracing themselves, they actually do change because they show up more confidently. They show up with more self-worth. They start going for their desires. They start having more trust, more faith, more belief. They start being able to easily tap into the reality that they've previously only been dreaming of because it suddenly feels possible for them because they are not trying to reject any part of themselves anymore. They know they are worthy exactly how they are at this time and they know they can make it happen exactly how they are at this time and so they do and so they change and so it manifests but it's not because there was something wrong with them or they need to change who they previously were no they just need to embrace it more so don't try to be somebody else be yourself it's perfect love yourself you're perfect 
believe that what you want is possible because it is it's already here for you and don't give up and i'm here to support you i really am so i hope this helped you if it did don't forget to give me a little thumbs up and leave me a comment because I love connecting with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you want to dive deeper with me, you can apply for my signature coaching program, Recreate Yourself. That's where we really change your self-concept in a sustainable way, exactly how I described in this video, without faking, without pretending, without trying to be somebody else. But so you can be loved and be successful and be abundant because you are who you are and not because you need to change into somebody else. Because we all want to be loved for who we really are. We don't want to be loved for being somebody else. That's not unconditional love, is it? If you want to connect with me directly, I always love receiving your messages on Instagram. Drop in with me there if you feel called to do so. I really love hearing about where you're at and how I can support you more. And I'm sending you so much love and wishing you a beautiful day. And I'll see you in the next video.